Hello. In this video, we are going to be talking about string matching and the Boyer-Moore horsepool algorithm. The problem of string matching is given a text of length n and a pattern of length m to find if the pattern occurs within the text and if so, at what position. The naive approach, which is the brute force approach to solve this problem would be to take the text, align the pattern against it at the beginning of the text and then start comparing each character that is aligned with it from right to the left. And whenever a particular pair of characters don't match, we slide the pattern one position to the right and then we start doing the same process again. And when all the characters in the pattern match against the aligned characters in the text, we say that we have found a match. The worst case scenario of this particular algorithm is that the pattern never occurs in the text. So we would be sliding the pattern across the whole length of the text and would never find the pattern in the text. And also, at each position of the pattern, we would find a mismatch at the very end. So the number of comparisons we would be making in the worst case would be m cross n. Where m is the length of the pattern and n is the length of the text. The Boyer-Moore horsepool algorithm is almost similar to the brute force approach. It only differs to the brute force approach in the way that it slides the pattern against the text. In the brute force approach, whenever we encountered a pair of characters which didn't match, we always used to slide the pattern one position to the right. But we could be doing better. If we observe the pattern CBA, the mismatched character X from the text never occurs in the pattern. So we could shift the entire pattern so that we entirely skip this character x from the text and also say if this character x instead of it being x in the text say if it was c we could shift the pattern twice to the right so that the letter c from the pattern aligns against this c in the text these two ideas are central to the boyer moore horsepool algorithm to implement this algorithm we first need to compute what is known as the shift table in the shift table, we have all the possible characters that could occur in the text and the pattern. So this particular table has all the possible letters from A to Z and also the space character. And for each of these characters, we have an entry called the shift. The shift for a particular character is the rightmost occurrence of that character in the pattern ignoring the last character in the pattern. Here it, it is A. And if we don't find the character in the pattern, we say the shift is equal to M, which is the size of the pattern. Let's walk through the table now. The character A has the entry 3, which is equal to M. But we could say that the character occurs in the pattern. So why should it be M? It's simply because we are supposed to ignore the last character in the pattern. So for B, we have the entry 1 because it occurs at the first position. For C, we have the entry 2 because C occurs at the second position. And the rest of the characters and the space character never occur in the pattern. So all of them are equal to 3. Now we get to the actual algorithm. We align the pattern against the beginning of the text as we did earlier and we start comparing the pairs of characters and whenever we find a mismatch we slide the pattern to the right but by how much? Whenever we come across a mismatched pair we go back to the rightmost character which is aligned to the pattern and we look at the shift entry for that particular character and we shift the pattern by that many times. In this case, the character is x and the entry for that is 3 in the shift table. So we shift the pattern by 3 times 
and we start comparing again. A and X don't match again. So we go back to the character table, look up the shift entry for X, which is 3, and we shift the pattern by 3 times again. And But this time, all of the characters match and we have found our pattern. For sufficiently large patterns and text, we find that the average complexity of this alg algorithm is theta of n, 